Well, welcome back, and that was Bed with Brass under MD David Maplestone, and they were finishing off with their high impact, high energy, Don't Stop Me Now, from Queen, written 1978. So it's taking us back a Seems little like yesterday. <laughs> Only like yesterday. <laughs> they, they, they. So that was great back stuff. Back to our youth, eh, Kenny. Back to our youth, eh? Back on the stage with Freddie and the boys. <laughs> right, next band after we talk about the little segment will be the Kibworth Band under MD Dave Holland. Uh, they will be doing uh, a march, Duke Street, written by the MD Dave himself. That's going to be followed by Doyle's Lament, which is from uh, Call of the Cossack Suite, featuring uh, Cradle Smith on Flugel Horn. Then they've got Dance of the Tumblers from the Snow Queen, Ripsky Korsakoff, arranged by Derek Ashmore, uh, followed by a bit of Irving Berlin with uh, Top Hat, White Tie and Tails. And they are finishing off with the two final sections from Shiner's Delight. So there's something to look certainly look forward to there as well. And also, what well, before we carry on, of course, we've got to give a, a warm welcome to everybody who is watching us in the bar. So if you're in the bar, please give us a quick wave because we're quite sure here, we're parched, we can do with a drink ourselves. I know these two lads at the next <laughs> one, they, they do that. But I hope you're enjoying the event. Hope you're enjoying the beer that's being served there. Fantastic down there as well. I hope, the, I hope the beer isn't too expensive, so we're doing that. And also, if you want to be involved and make comments about what you've actually heard and also about our performances as, as presenters, <laughs> you can do that. So you can do the hashtag Balls Over Festival. We're having coverage, as we said, all around the world. We've got over 100 odd countries, oh, sorry, 24 countries, over 188 towns. So there's lots and lots of people uh, linking in to join us. Two people have also joined us as well, is Gary Hallis and uh, Branch of Wilshaw from the Stanton Band. You played a little bit early, gentlemen, so thanks for taking the time for not going to the bar before you actually come back to us. Really enjoyable uh, set, you must be very pleased with that. First of all, Gary, you're not the permanent MD of the band, but you've been really enjoying working with them over the past few weeks. Yep, uh, I was asked to take the band um, for this contest starting in September, um, and I got pretty much a blank canvas. Um, I know the guys from working with them a little bit before the summer. Um, come in, take us to the contest. You can do whatever you want to do, um, which uh, was a bit overwhelming to start with. I thought that was a brilliant idea, but then I started thinking of all these ideas I'd like to do and realised a blank canvas was slightly harder to write on than I, than I would imagine. But we had a great sort of five weeks working with, with a great band, a uh, great bunch of people, really good band room atmosphere, and it's, uh, it's been a pleasure. Kenny, you, you've been in bands where you go, sometimes get MDs come in, you know, they come in with fresh ideas. So it's sometimes really good for a band to get somebody in in, in those circumstances. Think of it gives them a real perk, yeah. Yeah, but, you know, even if it is, I mean, it, it, sometimes a temporary measure, I mean, you know, I think there's different circumstances here. But even though know, we've seen it um, in bands I've played, and you get somebody in just to give you a, a quick boost, if you like, it can be uh, very beneficial. And the, uh, you know, the band played extremely well today as well. Nice programme as well, really well balanced programme. One of my favourite corners, always, we spoke about that earlier. Yeah. Great, great, great job. Thank you. We've, talked, we've talked a bit about programmes actually this morning, haven't we? How do you. There is a, an art to choosing an entertainment contest programme, as we know, or a dark art, maybe, some <laughs> might say. How, how do you go about it? Is, it? is there a degree of democracy in the band, or is it really left very much to the MD for, for you folks? Well, as Gary said, we gave him a, a blank slate. Yeah. Um, there you are, your, your job for five weeks. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there is democracy about it in the band. Gary came with a theme and we tried some pieces out and some of them really clicked and some we decided we're not actually going to work so well. So the theme started to disappear and we kept the best pieces. But it still had a balance of different styles of music. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, so it was a fair bit of trial and, trial and error in there, really. For two or three you, weeks, yeah. I would say, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you've got yeah. to live with it a bit. Yeah. Yeah. I think for me, the, the more difficult thing was, was coming in fresh. This will work. Yeah. And then we got there the first night and tried a few different things out, and I thought, actually, that won't work. So I can keep those. They, they're good, and we need to look at a different way of doing this. Um, I think if, if, like with my regular band with Emily, it would have been something that it would have grown as we'd have come together yeah. because I know what we're already playing and I would kind of, over more time, I would create a, a, a living being, yeah. if you like. Yeah. It just develops and arrives and we kind of did that in a short space of time, really. Yeah. Very yes. lucky that I was able to say to Richard Dowling, our, our brilliant principal cornet player, yeah, you've got about four there, minutes. Yeah. I can only give you four minutes because this program works to this timing. What what are you going to give us in four minutes? And and he pulled out of the uh, cupboard Matheson's air, which which just, just great piece. He played great very piece. very well. Yeah. But doesn't that just show you you don't always have to be playing brand new music at these times? Absolutely, There's yeah. Loads of stuff in every band's library. Mm -hmm. Pieces like that. The one you finished with is the Scarborough Fair arrangement as well. Yep. Terrific old arrangement, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, brilliant stuff. 
well, all the with that battle to help to start off with from Beatloaf as well. So you had a little bit of everything there. Yeah. Breaking news as we create on this, it'd be great to do this. The latest news that it comes from the band is that you've announced that Gary is now going to become the associate conductor. It's yes. a good job he did well today, then otherwise we wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't be making this announcement. Sorry about that. Yeah, but I'm the singer as always. Well, yeah, yeah. 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 everybody's having us to do that. And you've got Derek Renshaw who's becoming the MD as yes. well. So congratulations on that. We had just got to go back through. Now, thanks, gentlemen, for joining us. The next band, I understand, is just about ready on stage. It's Kibworth with their musical director, Dave Holland. And they'll be coming on the stage to start off with Duke Street by the MD himself, followed by Doll's Lament, Dance of the Tumblers, Top Hat, White Tie and Tails, and finishing off with Shine as the Light. So back to the action. <laughs> 